Greetings, it is I, the Great One himself, Cynical Libertarian Society, CYNLIBSOC.com on the interwebs. Speaking of the interwebs, I'm on the interwebs right now, and I just had one of those observations. Now, I've talked about this before. Over on the OkCupid, for those of you who don't know, it's a dating website where you go to look for people to date or have sex with or whatever. It doesn't matter. So now they have recently, semi-recently, in the not-too-long-ago future, expanded the options for sexuality because of course this is an important thing because right we're supposed to judge people by the content of their character and all this other shit but there's all these people out there who need all of these different forms of sexuality in order to to what I mean what well, I, I don't I can only theorize about this. I don't, you know, I've, I've talked about this before. I've talked about everything before. That's the great thing about me. That's why I'm the great one. Right? Remember when the Jews were forced to identify themselves by wearing stars? You know, everyone was like, oh, that's so terrible. That's so terrible. Here in the United States, people voluntarily seek to identify themselves in some narrow category and then take that category and advertise it to everyone else. So when the government forces Jews to wear stars so you know they're a Jew, well, that's evil and that's bad. But when the colleges tell the young people, hey, you need to identify as a, a, a whatever or a whatever, and you need to be goddamn sure everyone around you gets this shoved down their throat so they know how you identify, it's, it's pretty hilarious. So anyhow, let me get to the point because I have a lot of shit to do. You can now, on OkCupid, you can identify as a woman or a man, not for much longer. At some point, they will remove man because being a man is, of course, politically incorrect. Here are the other options. I don't even know what some of these are, nor do I think I care. You can be agender, androgynous, which, okay, androgynous, I'll give you, is fairly legit. By gender. <laughs> cis man, cis woman, gender fluid, gender queer, gender non-conforming, uh, hijara, I've, n I've never heard of that one before, there's a new one, intersex, never heard of that one before, non-binary, other, pangender, transfeminine, transgender, Transmasculine, transsexual, trans man, trans woman, or two spirit. <laughs> oh God, fuck me! Oh God, damn it! <laughs> oh my God! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! I have to screenshot this. <laughs> I, I have to screenshot this to put it in the motherfucking show notes. <laughs> oh, isn't even, I wasn't even going to talk about this specifically, but it's just too fucking funny. All right. Uh, <laughs> oh, you, you kids. I mean, you people, you're so desperate for some kind of identity. And I think that's ultimately what this is, is that people want an identity. I'm trying to type and talk at the same time. I can barely do one thing at a time, much less two. Hang on. People want an identity. And that's, that's normal, right? All of us want an identity. The difference, the reason I'm laughing at this is because the people who are utilizing the shit, this is the victim culture. This is the statist. Look, again, differences between anarcho-capitalist and statist. Everybody wants an identity. The anarcho-capitalist creates an identity for themselves. But this reminds me of something I read somewhere a long time ago, and I thought it was pretty brilliant. It was the phrase, fashion says me too, Style says me only. And there's two ways to have an identity. 
you can have an identity by creating it from who you are, from what you are, from what you believe, want to, what you want to achieve, from your actions, you know, all of this stuff. You can create an identity for who you are. Or the other way to get an identity is to join a group and adopt their identity. Religions, cults, global warming wackos, Republicans, Democrats. Right? These are people, they want an identity. But instead of creating their own identity from the uniqueness of who they are, they recognize they have no special uniqueness. They recognize they're just slaves. They recognize that they're just tools. They recognize that they're very boring, mediocre, average, worthless excuses for protoplasm. And so instead of creating their own identity, they join a group. They pick these labels. Now where I was originally going with this is this. I've talked about this before. I've talked about how if you have any kind of privileges or special treatment or protections that I don't have, that's an indicator that we are equal or we are not equal. I can't fucking talk. I'm, I'm doing this totally sober. <laughs> I can't podcast sober. Actually, I can, but anyhow. I've said before, it's interesting how on OkCupid, if you identify as a gay person, I've not, not tried experimenting with all of these other weird fucking things, if there's anything different there, but if you identify yourself as gay, you can hide your profile from straight people. What I want to know is, why is it, if I'm on OkCupid, which I am, that's how I know about this stuff, because it's, God, I'm, seriously, if you're not, you, there's some entertaining shit. There's nothing like looking at these pictures of these huge fat women with all their tattoos and piercings, and they write on there, I'm open-minded, and then they have this whole list of things that you'd better not contact me if... You know, you're a man and you're not six feet tall and you're over the age of 26 and if you like cats and if you don't smoke marijuana, you know, just, I'm open-minded and tolerant, but here's the list of things that, you know, and this one bitch, this one person, I bitch, no, let's go with bitch, this one bitch I saw in here, she's like, if you're a man and you send me a message, I'm going to screenshot your message and show it to everybody. Wow, God, you're so fucking tolerant and diverse and empathetic and multicultural and, you know, you fucking women, you have such great skills. I shouldn't, I shouldn't tar all women with that brush. Don't mean to do that. But this particular individual who claimed to be a woman. So let me get to my point. Gay people can hide their profile from non-gay people. Because, you know, gay people are so fragile that if a non-gay person looks at their profile and, oh my God, he maybe sent them a message, they'd be traumatized for life. I want to know, why is it I can't hide the trannies from me? Because you go in there and you go click and, you know, it defines people near you. And it's become, oh my God, dude, I'm in the People's Republic of Fort Collins. I'm not in a major city like Los Angeles or New York or Chicago or something. The number of men pretending to be women within 50 miles of Fort Collins, Colorado, it's like, what the fuck? It's every time I'm on OkCupid, okay it's like, find the trannies. And so why don't, what I want to know is, why can't I, why are these people showing up in my search, okay? I'm looking for women. That's what my fucking settings are on this fucking thing. I am looking for actual legitimate females, born female, have a vagina, no surgery, no boob job, no lipo. There should be like things like that. Exclude people with liposuction. Exclude people who use Botox. Exclude people who have boob jobs. I'm looking for a real, actual, natural, feminine, feminine women. <laughs> There's only about maybe 30 or 40 of them within 50 miles of Fort Collins. Why can't I hide the transsexuals from me? I guarantee you the transsexuals can hide the straight people if they want to. I'll try it. I'll test it sometime. But like, what the fuck? Okay, wait a minute. I thought I was done. I'm not. Okay, you can identify, identify. God, I fucking, I'm serious about this shit. 
How do you identify? I've talked about this before. I identify as me. You fucking people. How do you identify? You can identify on OkCupid as straight or gay or bisexual or asexual or demisexual or heteroflexible or homoflexible or lesbian or pansexual or queer or questioning or sapiosexual. <laughs> Man, you people have got to get a life. You've got to get some hobbies. You've got to stop needing these weird little labels and cult groups to belong to so that you can have a fucking sense of identity. Why don't you just try being fucking people or something? Or is that too fucking complicated for you? Wait, let me guess. If you're just a person, you don't get victim status. See, this all comes back to victim status. Everybody's looking for victim status. And oh my God, I'm a pansexual, tranny, male, whatever the fuck. Now I'm a victim, right? If you're just a person, you have to make your own way through life. You have to get a job and you have to pay for things. You have to interact with other people on the same level they are. You have to pull your own weight. You have to be competent. But God damn it, if you can get yourself a fucking victim group now you can get food stamps and welfare and affirmative action and all this other shit you can get your ass kicked kick, kicked ass kissed i guess you can get your ass kicked in some parts of town i'm sure that still goes on somewhere but god damn it the fucking just stop with the identifying so that you can play the fucking victim card just fucking stop it and when i make fun of you don't get pissed off at me because this is you you know, he's making fun of... Yeah, I am making fun of you. And as long as you play the victim card, I'm going to keep fucking making fun of you. You don't want to be made fun of. Stop being a motherfucking victim. Stop being a child and grow the fuck up.